Pogsic29 here. Welcome to episode number 3 of my uh, Bucket Paintball Coding mini-series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save and load arena data, like the spawn locations and the, uh, you know, any information that you need. Before we begin, I have two things that I want to say. The first is um, my first plug-in shout-out. This goes out to Exotic Jordan with his admin menu, which is based off of my... Uh, inventory menus video, I believe episode number 33. Um, this menu will allow you to easily change your game mode, time, weather, and god, whitelist, fly, uh, a bunch of different things. So it's a pretty cool plugin, and uh, maybe you guys want to check it out. Could be helpful. So uh, the second thing is, I'm on vacation for this weekend. Uh, I will be gone until, I believe, Saturday is when I'm coming home, so about a week, and during that time, I will try my best to make videos, but I cannot guarantee daily uploads. Uh, there, We have a lot of people in a small area, and it's hard to find a quiet room for enough time to make, this, make videos like this, and I will try my best, but I cannot guarantee daily uploads. It took me... Uh, quite a bit of work to get a quiet place to make this episode. So, let's go ahead and get started. I have Eclipse open with our Pogo Ball project, and what we're going to do is we are going to make a uh, settings manager class. Now, I did make a, I did make multiple configuration related videos, and I did make a settings manager video, but this video is a little bit more uh, interesting, this settings manager is a bit more, uh, you know, convenient, and it's, it's a little bit better in my opinion. So, we can go ahead and make the settings manager class. And we are going to use the same um, private settings manager, um, uh, private settings manager instance equals new settings manager public static settings manager sorry get instance return instance and um, instance needs to be static static there we go then we are going to need a um, private file con file configuration config config and a um, private file c file. Then we are going to go ahead and make the public void setup plugin p. So, um, the setup is, I believe, the exact same as, okay, the setup, I believe, is the exact same as the other settings manager, but the get and set methods are a bit different. So, we're going to go ahead and say, if exclamation point, uh, p.getDataFolder.exists, um, uh, p.getDataFolder.mkdir, so, if the directory doesn't exist, then make the directory. Then we are going to go ahead and say C file equals new file p dot get data folder comma arenas dot yml. And actually, I'm going to rename this to um, arenas and a file because. Uh, should we choose to have another configuration file, uh, we want to have the option. So, um, then we're going to go ahead and say if exclamation point a file that exists, try a file dot make, sorry, dot uh, create new file and catch exception e 
and f we're just going to go ahead and say e.printStackTrace. So, um, if the file does not exist, if the arenas.yml does not exist, we're going to attempt to make it. If it fails, we're going to print out the stack trace. Um, it should not fail. I don't see why it would, but... Then we're going to go ahead, go ahead and say arenas equals yml configuration dot load configuration a file. So we are now um, instantiating the arenas, um, the arenas uh, file configuration. Now we can go ahead and make the get and set methods. Now originally um, I had a get, I had what would be a get config method which would return this you know, file configuration, and a save, which would save it. But since then, I've revised it into a very nice and easy-to-use system. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and write the get method. So we're going to write public t get, and then public t t get, and it's going to be string path. And what is wrong with this? Oh, I believe it is public t t get. And then you're going to say return arenas.get path, and you're going to cast t, and then you are going to say suppress warnings unchecked. Now, what this is doing is this is called generics, and what generics are is, let's go and think back to our array list. I think we even have one. Um, here's our array list. Now, you can have an array list, and you don't need to define the fact that it's an arena, but generics allows you to define um, parameterized, parameterized classes. So, for example, if I specify this as an array list arena, and I attempt to add a something that is not an arena, if I, to, to, if I attempt to add an integer to an array list of arenas, it will stop me because it is parameterized as an arena. Uh, array list, and that can be very helpful. Now, in this case, it will basically allow you to set what kind of, um, it will let you, like, set what you want to get. So, um, let's say that you want to get whatever's at the path returned as a, as an integer. So, rather than doing a cast, you can say, um, int i equals, uh, settings manager whatever dot, um, dot get you know, int. So you don't have to do any casting, and you don't have to do anything special, and it should just let you get whatever you want as that, and that I, I happen to like that. Then we're going to go ahead and do a, um, a public void set string path object um, value. And then we are going to say arenas dot set path comma value and then we're going to say try arenas dot save to a file catch exception e e dot print stack trace so what this is doing is whenever I call set I will give it a string path and an object value it will then set the path to the value and save so there's no more doing settings manager dot get instance dot get config dot set blah 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 settings manager dot get instance dot save config it is now just settings manager dot get instance dot set path value and it's much simpler and I I happen to like this kind of a method more. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to need to now load the arena information from the configuration file. And stored in the arena file is going to be, um, the, the key is going to be the ID. So every arena will have an ID. It will start with one and go up from there. And it will, basically, the arena will contain the um, red spawn, blue spawn, um... Uh, let's see what else the arena contains. Red spawn and blue spawn and the ID. And I guess that's it for now. Uh, eventually we will add, I guess, some kind of settings. And we can do per arena settings. Um, I'm trying to think of any off the top of my head. But that's what we're going to do right now. So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to need to save the configuration and the way that we need to save the configuration is a bit 
odd because we need to have an we need to have an array list of all of the integers. So, um, for example, um, let's say we have an arena called one. Then inside of the arena one, it will have the um, red spawn, and saved there will be the um, the world um, x y z. And then we will have the blue spawn, and saved in there will be the world x y z. And then we will also have, uh, and I think that's all that we need for now. So, that is how the format will go. Now the problem is, how can we tell what arenas there are? Because there's no way to iterate through every configuration section. If there was, that would be extremely helpful. Then we could go through every configuration section, check if it's, you know, the check if it's a number, and then do that. So the way that I have found this easiest to work around this is we're going to need to have an array list of um, IDs, and it will contain, for this example, it would just contain one. So then we can go through the list of IDs and do all of the checking there. So this is how the um, configuration will look. And in the setup method, what we're going to want to do is say for int i um, settings manager dot get instance dot get uh, and then this dot get for and the path will be IDs. And what's wrong here? And then we need to we need to do the uh, the parameterizing. So we need parameterizing whatever. So we need to say I believe list integer and import list. So what we're doing here is we're is we're getting the list of IDs, but it is but we're parameterizing it as a list integer. So it will so this get method will return a list of integers because I told it to. And now I believe that this should work. If when we go to test it doesn't, then I know an easy fix for it. So then, so we're going through every single um, configuration. We're saying um, config, and uh, actually we're just going to go ahead and say arenas .add new arena i. So all that we're doing is we're going through every single um, arena in the IDs, and then we're adding a new arena with the number. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the arena class and we need to actually load all the information right where it says setup. So let's just stick that information right there. So first we can go ahead and say this.id equals id. Then the second thing that we're going to want to do is say configuration section conf equals settings manager dot get instance dot get for um, id plus that, and import, and this time, see, we did not need to do the um, parameterizing, or, I'm sorry, whatever it's called, I'm probably saying it wrong, because um, it, it automatically knows that we're getting a configuration section, so it can uh, handle that fine. So, um, settings manager, like, in a sense, uh, get, uh, okay, so, what we're doing is we're getting the configuration section for the ID, and we're adding this little, um, this little like blank text because it needs to be a string. So now we have this. We now we have access to all of this. So we're gonna go ahead and write a quick um, private um, void uh, get location, and it's actually going to be a private location get location. Uh, and then it'll be string path because we're going to need to construct the red spawn and the blue spawn and rather than having all the code for the red spawn and then doing it again and then ha and then copying it for the blue spawn we can simply say um, location lock equals new location then we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and we're going to say bucket dot get server dot get world for path dot get uh, world, or sorry, path dot get string world, and then so what we're doing basically is, and sorry, we're saying um, configuration configuration section path, and then we're saying path dot get string world. Then we need to give it the x, the y, and the z, which I believe are doubles. So then we can say path dot get double x path dot get double 
y path dot get double z and I believe that that is all we need to do. Now you can optionally save the pitch and the yaw, but I don't really see a point in doing that, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this. So let's go ahead and say return. Then we're going to go ahead and say um, this dot red spawn equals get location conf dot get configuration section red spawn. And then we can go ahead and say this dot blue spawn equals get location conf dot get sorry conf dot get configuration section blue spawn. And that should be all we need right now. Um, we created the uh, settings manager that will you know s easily save and load any information. Then we um, did in the arena manager the creating of all the arenas. Then inside the arena, we added the loading of all the information. So the plugin is coming along very nicely. Um, left on the list that are very important are uh, listeners and actually making the commands um, and probably some other and probably some other stuff. Uh, bonus things that I've gotten requests for are uh, let's see. Um, scoreboard for like number of team I don't know kills or whatever number of team stats basically so we can do something with that and um, sign lobby signs I will definitely do that I've gotten a lot of requests and I promise I know that you guys really want to know how to do that so I will teach you guys how to make the lobby signs you click it to join so that is all for this video uh, as always, su subscribe if you want to see more, comment if we, uh, what you want to learn, check out the plugin submission guidelines, and I will see you guys as soon as I can make another video. Goodbye.